hey, in this video, I wanna show you how to use a keepograph. And I wanna show you how it helps you make better pricing decisions, sourcing decisions, and better overall decisions in your Amazon FBA business that helps you get to the next level. I'll show you what a keepograph is, what it looks like, how to read it, how to understand it. So let's go to my laptop computer. I'll show you on my screen exactly what Keepa looks like and how it can work for you. All right, here I am on Keepa.com and currently Keepa is tracking the price history and sales rank history of almost 1 billion products. In fact, as I am recording this, the number continues to go up. So I'm curious when you're watching what the number is going to be. But you can see over here the different country flags. It's because Keepa is tracking in lots of different countries. And so, in fact, you can choose what language you'd like to look at Keepa at. You can choose your uh, the location of where your Amazon business is at. Uh, if you're Amazon.com or Amazon in Mexico or in the UK or Japan or Australia, all of these are options for you. Um, and then you can even set up your currency settings. But let's take a look at an item on Amazon and what the Keepagraph looks for this item. So I'm gonna search for it, and I've just got the ASIN that I'm gonna search for. And here we go, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse Fun Mickey Mouse Plush. So this is a Keepagraph, and let me introduce you to it and what it looks like. On the left side of the screen, you can see the prices from zero to $30. On the right side of the screen, you got the sales rank from zero up to 400,000. And at the bottom of the screen, you have the timestamp. The default timestamp is the last three months. So when you're looking at this information, you have a lot of different options. You can look at the Amazon price, third party new price, use price, sales rank price, and other options as well. The cool thing about the Keepa graph is when you are on the graph, you can scroll and the information will change compared to the time that you are looking at. So at the bottom of the screen, you can see that the, the time that this information was gathered, what the current sales rank is, and what the price is. Now, when you're looking at the price, this does not mean that this price includes shipping. So it could be a new item being sold for $25 plus merchant fulfilled shipping, um, or it could be you know $25 plus free shipping. So it's good to know that information also when you are looking at this information, this is not necessarily the price for when an item has sold. It's just what the current low price was at that particular time of day. So again, it's not telling you the information about what prices are when things sell, just what the current low price was for that particular item at that particular time of day. Now you might see this shaded area and then it's not shaded here, but then it's shaded again here. The time where it's shaded means Amazon is in stock. So this is good information to know for when you're looking at an item. You can look into the past and see, oh, Amazon goes in and out of stock. I Amazon sells it at a, at a lower price, but third-party sellers sell it at a higher price. When Amazon goes out of stock, I can sell it for this higher price. So it's good to know. So let's take a look at this information individually uh, so that we can learn a little bit more. I'm going to click this little button and turn on the Amazon so we can see that Amazon is not always in stock. We can take a look at the new price and we can see what the, cur the current new price is and see how that's been fluctuating a little bit. Uh, there is no used price right now. And we can look at the sales rank. Now here's something important to know about sales rank. Every time the sales rank number goes from a high number to a low number, and it makes a significant jump from a high number to a low number, that means at least one sale. So when you're looking through here and you see this, these little changes right here, these are not sales, but when you see this big jump here, this is at least one sale. And so you can go through and see all these different uh, ups and downs, and every time it goes from a high number to a low number significantly, it means at least one sale. So if you're selling something uh, as third-party new filled by merchant, you can kind of look in the past and see what the, the prices are. Again, these are not sales. These are just what the prices are at a particular moment. If you're selling a collectible item, um, you, then you can go look at the price history for collectible items. Um, new third-party FBA prices, again, not sales, but what it was priced at one point. And this is really awesome. The buy box price where you can see what the buy box was at a particular time. Uh, and if you're selling used in different conditions, it breaks that down. So let's bring some of this information back, bringing back that just like we started. I'm going to bring the buy box here. So 
when you're looking at this graph, you can also change the time. You can zoom in to look at the last month or look at the last week or just look at today's information. Um, but most people look at the last three months to make the best decision. But if you want any more information, you can look at the last year and see what happens. Like if you want to know what happened during Q4 last year, October, November, December of last year. Oh, look, this sales rank has drastically improved during Q4. This is a toy. This is a, a really fun kid's gift. So, of course, Christmas time, the sale is going to be really awesome. And again, the shaded time is when Amazon's in stock. When Amazon goes out of stock, boom, look at those prices during December. Boy, selling items for $37.99, uh, $32.99. That's a big jump in sales. So awesome information that Keepa gives you. You can also take a look at the more historical data and you can look at the st stock levels for certain items and you can take a look at the stock levels for here's the last year and you can see that the stock went up a lot and then the last three months and you can kind of see how many other competitors are selling this particular item at different times. So lots of really awesome information to know. And one of my one of the really cool things that you can know to make a really good sourcing decision is the average sales rank. And so let's turn this less historical data. Uh, if you click, hover over this statistic area, you can see that the average sales rank over the last 90 days was 196,000. Over the last 180 days, 216,000. So that might give you a better idea of if an item is good and worth sourcing by looking at the average sales rank instead of just looking at today's sales rank. Sometimes we have limits when it comes to sourcing items with certain sales ranks. But this item on July 30th was ranked over 300,000. And then there was a sale and the next day it was ranked at 100,000. So sometimes people say, I'm not gonna buy any toys ranked under 150,000. Well, that means you would purchase it on this day, but you wouldn't purchase it on this day. But it's the same item, so it's good to know averages. So this has just been a little quick introduction to Keepa. A few of the things that you can learn from Keepa to make a smarter sourcing decision. Uh, play around with Keepa, have some fun with it, and you can learn even more. So now you know a little bit about Keepa and what a Keepa graph looks like and how you can use it to make better sourcing decisions pricing decisions, and grow your Amazon FBA business by making better overall decisions in your Amazon sourcing and pricing. So if you want to try out Keepa, go to fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa, and you can sign up for a Keepa account. Uh, they offer a free plan, uh, but that's limited information, but uh, you get all the information with their paid plan, but it's totally affordable. In fact, I think it's really affordable compared to the information that we get to make a better decision with our sourcing, with our pricing, with everything. So sign up for a Keepa data plan, fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa. And if you want to learn even more about Keepa, we have a course for you, the Reseller's Guide to Keepa. It is totally updated to today's world. And you can go to fulltimefba.com forward slash Keepa course to get more information about the course. But in the course, I walk you through everything that I know about Keepa because this video, man, it's just scratching the surface of what is possible when you're using Keepa. The course is over five hours of laser focused video training, walking you through tons of Keepa uh, trainings of how to use it, how to understand it, how to apply it to so many different facets of your Amazon FBA business so that you can grow your business faster, you can get faster sales, you can sell items for higher prices, uh, how you can avoid the items that tank in price, and, and so much more. So fulltimefba.com forward slash keep a course for more information about that. Well, it's been Steven Smotherman from Full Time FBA. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, if you're interested, leave us a comment below and uh, you know, always be sure you subscribe to our Full Time FBA blog. That's where we get all the good stuff. Fulltimefba.com. And uh, anyway, have a great day, everybody. God bless, bye.